Welcome to Jamie TV. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a Jamie TV quickie with no pissy panting about. I'm just going to share one idea with you very quickly, rough around the edges. So in this project, I've got five tracks of MIDI and I'm using five AUV3 instruments and three AUV3 effects. And my iPad, which is just a basic 2017 ordinary iPad is starting to buckle under the pressure. It can't take much more. So what I need to do is to start converting these MIDI tracks into real audio because the problem with the iPad is whilst it can process many many tracks of audio no problem it does struggle with the AUV3s. So before tackling this what I've done I've practiced my song and I've made sure that here I've got exactly what I need the full arrangement for all of these instruments and so now I'm ready to start converting these to real audio. So what we do is there are a couple of ways to do this first way i'm going to show you is this i select the track that i want to convert to real audio which is this one here and then all i do is hold down on this track either with the mouse or with your finger press down and hold and you get a drop down list and if you just click on freeze track There we go, I just need to rearm my microphone because when it does a process like that, Audio Evolution, it unarms any tracks that are, well, armed ready for recording. So as you can see, what's happened here is it has frozen this track off. So the AV3s involved in this track are no longer taking up any processing power. And I have my real audio now just here. So let's just solo this track and just play a little bit of it and just make sure that it sounds okay. Okay, now that seems to sound pretty good, but obviously what I need to do is to solo this track, listen to it all the way through, and make sure that it's absolutely bob on. If there is any problem with it, what I can do is I can go here again, press and hold, and I can press unfreeze track, and then I can go back, make some adjustments, and freeze it again. But I'll do that later, I'm not gonna bore you with that now, I want to show you something else. There's another method um, for rendering your audio and depending exactly what you want from this process will depend which method you choose. So let me go here and press and hold again. Now in a moment I'm going to lose the microphone again so you'll just have to watch closely and see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to render track to audio file. Okay, just rearm my microphone again. Right, now you'll see nothing's popped up this time. What we need to do is to go to a folder where the audio has been rendered to and we can drop that into the project from there. And all we will need to do when I go into that file is to click on the audio that we want and it will automatically create an audio track and drop the audio into it. There is also, you will see in the, in the folder I'm going to visit, a little play button so that if you've got a number of bits of audio in there, you can press play and check that you're selecting the correct one. So we go up to project, we go to file browser, I'll lose the mic now. Okay, let's just check that rendered audio. I'll just solo this track.
Okay, right, so that's two methods that you can use in Audio Evolution to change your MIDI tracks with AUV3s on them into real audio. I hope that this video has been helpful. If it has, please stick me a thumb up. Make sure you've subscribed and ding my bell. And until my next video, take care, be good people, have lots of fun, make lots of music. Don't pissy pants about and I'll see you later.